welcome to my channel. My name is Meredith and this is Nails by Phoenix. So today we're going to attempt to make a DIY practice hand. Yep, you heard it. I went ahead and ordered all the necessary products from Brick in the Yard to attempt to make my own silicone practice hand. Here I am beginning to open the bag of alginate which is the material you use to make your mold um, to prepare your hand and your arm for the molding process. It's always good to use a tiny, tiny bit of Vaseline so that it makes it easier for you to release from the mold. Also a good idea to stick your hand in and make sure that you check how you want your hand to appear uh, once the mold is set. So it's always good to just test it out. Uh, here I was uh, saying wish me luck because uh, I, although I am a pretty crafty person and I love to do things myself, um, this was something I had never attempted before. I had worked with alginate before, but um, never have I tried to make a silicone anything. Even though I love watching all the special effects shows on TV, like Face Off and stuff. Um, so this is a great product. This is AccuCast 380cc alginate. Um, it, once you add the water, it turns this beautiful bubblegum pink color, letting you know that it's ready to be poured. Um, it's always good to mix with your hand because you can get the lumps and bumps out easier, and you're going to get messy anyway, so you might as well just get right in it. Um, also a good idea is to rub the alginate into your hand to get all those details. Um, put your hand in your container, lift it out, and then put it in again to make sure that there's no bubbles like at your fingertips. Um, and then you really have to fight the urge to float because, um, as they say in the um, tutorial, it's almost like your hand wants to float in there. And then I'm constantly checking with my other hand to see if it's setting. And what's great about this product is once it turns white, basically it's done. So it's a great... Uh, in it's a great way to tell when it's ready <laughs> I hope you enjoy this video and I just want to thank you again for stopping by please subscribe comment like um, if you have any questions please let me know in the comments suggestions anything you want to see me do um, I will be uploading more videos for nail art uh, I just wanted to show my little bit of creativity here at the beginning. All right, so that was pretty good. So here is where the silicone comes into play. Uh, you, as I showed you just now, there's two parts, part A and part B. Those are all the coloring um, additives. There's the little pot is silicone um, pigment which is like a paint almost, and the two larger jars are flocking, and the little envelope is also flocking, um, which Brick in the Yard was very kind to send with my package um, at my request because uh, this was a little expensive. Not, It wasn't as expensive as buying an already made hand, which is why I wanted to try and do it myself um, because as much as I want to get one of those perfect um, lovely hands, I just it's not in my budget at the moment and I'd love to try to make things myself so I did a lot of research and Brick in the Yard has an extensive library of tutorials and um, YouTube has a bunch of tutor tutorials so I felt pretty confident with my knowledge of alginate that this was something that I could do so here I am pouring each part into its own jug because you want to color each part individually because once those two parts are poured together, um, they will start to set. So here I think this is the silicone pigment and I believe I used a little bit too much because um, silicone by itself is a very clear, translucent thing. <laughs> and... Um, to get the desired color and to make it as look as realistic as possible you want to make it just a tiny bit opaque so that once you add all the flocking it catches the color better otherwise it's gonna be a clear end with a bunch of 
floating colorant in it because <laughs> what flocking is, is it's almost like a little material it's like a it's almost like little threads it looks like like dust it's very um very uh powdery so here i'm just i after watching the tutorial um he shows how to color for the caucasian hand he likes to call it caucasian skin tone um and I was trying to go for more of like a tan or a caramel, caramel color, um, but as I said, I think I added a little bit too much white um, pigment in there, and uh, yeah, it still came out pretty light, but that's okay. Um, this was a learning curve. It doesn't come out perfectly, but it came out pretty darn close and very good enough for what I'm going to use it for. Um, I definitely struggled a little bit with the coloring um, so yeah I'm just sitting here mixing up the colors adding a pinch of the red flocking because really the red flocking is just for warmth you don't want to add too much of it I mean unless you're you know you're going for that really dark color because it really adds a nice richness to the color so you want to basically mix this up very well scraping all the sides scraping the bottom and once you hit that desired color in both parts then we're going to add them together, give them a good mix, and then get them into that mold. Now, when I made my mold, I didn't have Vaseline and I used a moisturizer, like a hand cream. Actually, you can see it right there in the background. And I think it had an, a little bit of a reaction to the alginate or it at least made it not get a ton of detail like my fingerprints um you should be able to see like the fingerprints and everything so um yeah I did get a little bit of bubbles and it, it's not perfect like I said but this was my first experience and it was a lot of fun it was messy <laughs> and I got to experiment I'm I'm like a chemist I'm a science nerd at heart and like I said, I love to do things myself. I love trying to do something myself. Um, I make journals. I'm a leather worker. And I'm all self-taught. So if, if that's something that interests you, I have another channel. It's called Paper and Leather. And I have a couple of my journals up on that channel. Um, so here I'm just reading to see the exact timing I have to, once I start to mix this together. Um, so yeah, we're ready to combine the parts, parts A and B and get that into the mold. Here we go. All right, so we'll put A first. I don't think there's um, a specific way you have to add them, but I just, I put A in first because A is first in the alphabet, so <laughs> I'm a little OCD like that, but that's okay. Um, sorry about my head being in the way. And now we're going to do part B and then we have five minutes to mix and get it in that mold. So scary. I hate being timed on things. <laughs> it makes me nervous. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to mix that up very well. At this point, my phone was dying and I had to get this very heavy extension cord. And as you can see in the background, the box almost fell over and it would have been a catastrophe. But thankfully, it did not fall over. <laughs> All right, here we go into the mold. Now, once you pour your silicone into the mold, you wanna be very careful making sure that you get it into every little nook and cranny. It's almost better to pour a little bit in and almost um, pick the mold up and tilt it so that it's, it gets into every little area first and then continue to pour the silicone into the rest of the mold. I banged my mold on the floor a couple of times just to be sure that all the bubbles got out of the bottom um apparently with this silicone it's viscous enough that it will 
do it itself. All the bubbles will rise. So now we're here at the end. We're going to demold my silicone hand. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. It's been an hour. Ugh. I almost think too that using this oatmeal can kind of took away the moisture from the alginate. Um, alginate is a very temporary mold. Um, you literally have to use it within an hour, otherwise it starts to shrink. So, fingers crossed, as you saw. <laughs> I'm a little out of frame, sorry. Um, here we go. I just You can't reuse an alginate mold anyways, um, so I just said, let's just rip it. And there it is, in all its glory, my left hand. And I think it came out pretty darn good for my first try. Granted, it has some bubbles, but I did have to do a lot of research on like the shore hardness and how hard I wanted this hand to be because I've seen a lot of floppy hands, and that's just not what I wanted. Um, so this is, like I said, this was Plaxil Gel 25, and yeah, I think it came out pretty good. Um, if you have any questions, comments, anything, please feel free to leave them down below. I will definitely answer you. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by. Please share, comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.